Hey guys, what's going on? Renee from Low Key Geek here, and we've got another new app or a platform, streaming platform to take a look at. So uh, this time it is for NBC Universal's Peacock TV. Um, today is the launch day. It is already past midnight here on the East Coast time. So I'm not sure if you guys on the West Coast have access to it yet, but I was able to find it on my Xbox uh, in the Microsoft Store um, and I just downloaded it. So um, before I move on with this quick review and, and kind of browse through it in real time with you guys, um, if you like what you see, uh, don't hesitate to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps truly with the algorithms of the YouTube universe and of course I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, and you can check my channel, Loki Geek, for other reviews and my weekly podcast, along with some gaming streams as well. So, just wanted to get that all out of the way. But without further ado, um, like I mentioned, uh, you could download the app directly from the Microsoft Store. And once you do, obviously, you get brought here. Now, the reason I always cover things on my Xbox is because I do the majority of my media streaming on my Xbox. Um, and that's this is usually my platform of choice. So go ahead and click on that and then the app loads up for you right here. And of course you get brought to a little welcome screen that kind of highlights some of their programming here. and. From here, you could either sign up, you know, check out the little legalities and all that stuff like that, or sign in directly. And if you were like me, I already registered an account online. Um, so I was already provided with my own login. So when you hit that sign in, all you have to do is enter your login information here. Now, it's a lot to enter in, obviously, and especially if you're using a console, it could be kind of annoying. So the great thing that they do is that they allow you to kind of activate it through your phone, like the majority of those other apps. So like YouTube, uh, Hulu, um, all those apps kind of utilize the same system. So from here, you could log in and connect your device over the phone, uh, which I am going to do right now. All right. So the connecting um, process is very easy and connecting your account to your app is rather painless. So that's really good, especially when it comes to something that you're logging in for the very first time. So once you do that, you get brought to the main browse area from what it seems here. So obviously they're going to highlight some of their top programming here. Um, now, keep in mind, I am utilizing uh, a free account. I did not sign up for what they call the premium Peacock service. And from what I know, the premium service kind of gives you more access to their uh, premium programming and premium uh, movie selection. So right now, I am browsing, utilizing a free account. Um, but off the bat here, you have access to 30 Rock. Um, so it looks like you um, there are some episodes that you are allowed to watch for free here. Um, um, I don't know how many of these you are allowed to watch for free off the bat, but they do have all seasons of 30 Rock available for your viewing pleasure, as you can see here. Um, and as you select an episode, it will go ahead and load up. Let's get to the good stuff. Stream the show with only one ad, thanks to Capital One. What's in your wallet? There you go. So it looks like you are allowed to kind of stream any of these episodes relatively for free, and they do have some ad support in there. So moving on from there, you have other selections. You have Below Deck, which I'm assuming is another uh, uh, popular series on NBC. Um, and it looks like you have a multitude of access there for their seasons. Um, they highlight something 
I find very interesting is you have Jurassic Park. Since it is universal, uh, you have the ability to watch Jurassic Park. And it, something interesting to note here, it looks like they are allowing this free to watch for 16 days. I guess that's kind of the free trial that is included with the free membership here. So something interesting there. You have the Born Identity. Um, this you can uh, watch now. It looks like there is no limitation here. And just like any other platform, they have some other recommendations based off of what you're watching here. So going back to the browse, you go to the next section here and you have your Peacock Peak picks uh you have down downton abbey everybody hates chris psych law and order parks and rec superstar and so on and so forth um going into each of these it looks like it's the same setup uh episodes are free to watch uh, but all are more than likely as supported thanks to as they mentioned your folks at capital one so Moving back here, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, you have some of the top programming that you can find on the NBC network. Uh, Parks and Rec, which is a very popular series. It looks like you have access to all the seasons of Parks and Rec here. Um, from what I hear, season one was yet is not much to be desired so if you are new to the series you might want to skip that and go on to future seasons but just like how it did it for 30 rock it looks like you are able to watch these episodes for free with i'm pretty sure some ad support in there now moving on and there's some section here that you can jump right back into some of the things that you were watching uh, but they have some featured films here. So you have Phantom Thread, Tully, Do the Right Thing. You have all of the Matrix uh, movies available. Um, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Reservoir Dogs, The Mummy, and Shrek. Now, if you notice, there's like a little feather icon above this selection. That indicates what is only available through their premium subscription. So at least you're not going to be caught in the, the dark as to what you can watch and what you can't. At least they kind of highlight that for you there. But that being said, it looks like they do have a good amount of feature films that are free for you to view off the bat. Uh, and next section kind of covers their Peacock Originals. So you have Brave New World, The Capture, Intelligence, Yellowstone, Frasier, I'm assuming that these um, uh, series are only available now on the Peacock platform. Cheers, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Law and Order, you have Lost Speedways, um, which is features Dale Earnhardt Jr. here. Um, it looks like it's kind of a, a docu-series that kind of goes through all the great racing areas um, in racing, I guess. Um, In Deep with Ryan Lochte, uh, this is a premium series. Uh, you have Curious George, uh, something great for the family and the kids to watch. So I think that's really awesome that they have this available here. Uh, the animation looks fantastic, by the way. Um, I'm very curious how this will come out. So I definitely would love to check that out. Um, you have Where's Waldo? Uh, Peacock original series there and then you have Cleopatra in space uh, Looks like this is a DreamWorks animation affiliated uh, cartoon series, so Very interesting stuff there and like I said for someone who has a free subscription um, A lot of things you can access from the beginning um so, and when you go into the premium series, as you could see here, they tell you which episodes you're allowed to watch for free. And then you can see the remaining episodes are available once you upgrade your membership to a premium account. So really interesting stuff. I have to say, 
so far as I'm going through this, the the UI is very sleek, very very smooth and and nicely put together. So I am pretty um, impressed by that. Next session, I guess they call it free laughs. So these are all of your comedy series uh, that you have access to. You have the original Saved by the Bell, which is awesome. Uh, if you are someone like myself, who were of you know right age in the late 80s and 90s, uh, this series was a staple uh, for every weekend. Uh, so it's very, very interesting and awesome that they have all five seasons of Saved by the Bell here. Uh, moving on, uh, they have Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. I know this is another popular show right now. Um, and then you have three seasons of the original Carol Burnett show. And this is something that I was able to watch in reruns um, when I was growing up. Uh, really funny stuff. Um, so great that you have access to that. Um, you have a drama section, which kind of covers all the dramas. You have Battlestar Galactica here, which is amazing. Uh, again, all for free. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to watch any of the Battlestar Galacticas, this is a great time to do so. I think I know what I'm going to be doing with my free subscription for sure. Um, then you have your reality shows. You know, Storage Wars, Pawn Stars, Real Housewives. Um, and again, it looks like all of these are free for you to watch. Um, also to mention, like in each section, as you scroll all the way to the very end to the left, they do have a view all button. So you can kind of just view all in one page, in one shot. So nice little addition there to the UI. You have a section for Black Voices. Um, so um, all the series, movies, and shows that feature the um, you know people of color and um, different uh, diversities and ethnicities. So very cool stuff if you want to jump into one of those pieces of content. Now one thing interesting about the app, they have something called channels, and I'll get into that in a little bit. But they have. Um, what they call channels where it covers different topics like news the today show um road to tokyo olympics so they have a, a, a bunch of different shows that kind of highlight that uh saturday night live vault uh the office a uh, bunch of office shorts um and so on and so forth uh fallon seth meyers uh they have something called cnbc kaching um, which I guess is more along uh, finance and business, uh, Sky News, uh, Reality, Peacock Reality, Kiss Me Deadly, I'm not sure what that is, but that looks more like crime dramas and courtroom cases, true crime, Unsolved Mysteries. Now, I was so happy to see this. Um, I'm a huge fan of the current iteration at Netflix, but I have always been a huge fan of the original and it does look like you can watch all the episodes of Unsolved Mysteries here with Robert Stack in their original form. So very cool stuff. But like I said, I'll go into the channel section in a little bit. Um, but moving on. So those are your channels. Then you have your free movies. They have all the Jurassic Parks. It looks like up to three at least. The Matrix, you have Fear and Loathing uh, and other movies there. And I'll, I'll go into the, the additional sections uh, separately. Then they have a binge section. So if you're looking to something to binge, they kind of help you out here. You have your true crime um, section. You have your know, ice cold blood, homicide holiday, you know, all that stuff here. Always on. So these are more of your talk shows and soap operas and daytime talk shows so they have a section for all that here along with your news and nightly news so very cool moving on um they have a road to tokyo section so for those of you who may not be aware you know nbc is the home of the olympics so it looks like they separated a bunch of olympic themed programming kind of get you pumped up for the Olympics if they do happen next year. Um, 
Then you have your classics, like I mentioned, Saved by the Bell, Columbo, Murder, She Wrote, 21 Jump Street, uh, Sea Quest, unbelievable, uh, Greatest American Hero, another childhood favorite of mine, The Monsters, uh, Leave it to Beaver, and so on. Uh, then you have your uh, Kids Corner. So if you want a quick access to all the kids programming, you have the new Curious George, Woody Woodpecker. And I wonder, is this the original? It is. That's amazing. It's a lot of the original Woody Woodpecker shows here. Um, well, this one looks more like the modern take of it. So, um, But you do have free episodes available for you. And it looks like season three is more for the premium users there. So... Uh, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Uh, you have the DreamWorks Dragons, Riders of Burke. You have Kids Ninja Warrior, which is cool. You have Care Bears, but unfortunately that's only for premium. Top Chef Jr., Sabrina the Teenage Witch. This is the classic old cartoon um, from the Archie days of cartoons and so on and so forth and then they have a little section here that kind of tells you that if you do upgrade you'll have access to more programming from these sections very interesting to note they have ray donovan here so something um to keep in mind and they also have house and two and a half men in the george lopez show so all that is for you premium subscribers um a lot of stuff already on the browse homepage. You know, you have what they call hidden gems, crime solvers, you know, up for challenge. This covers a lot of like the, you know, face off shows and, you know, trivia shows and, you know, uh, the Titan game. So, like, all that kind of like Ninja Warrior stuff. Um, you have sci fi and fantasy, Hitchcock and horror. Um, they have a, a Hitchcock uh, section here um, for all the Hitchcock fans out there. You have all the classic Universal movies, you know, Dracula with Bela Lugosi. You know, really great stuff if you haven't watched it. Uh, all all classics here. They have a section called Based on the Books. So anything that was based off of books, obviously. Adrenaline Junkies this is for all the action and adventure movies. You have all the original Mummy movies with Brendan Fraser. Spartacus uh, looks like you can only access it if you're a premium subscriber. And then All You Need Is Love. And these are all your rom-coms and more heartfelt, heartwarming type of programming. So that's just all on the browse screen. Um, again, a lot of stuff to access and for a free subscriber there's definitely a lot of programming to look into now if you go into the tv show section here are all of your tv shows that you can access they tell you what the latest episodes are for maybe some of your favorite series and then they break it out by category here um, I'm not gonna go too much into all the shows that are available because it looks like there are quite a lot here. Um, but they have your current TV, you know, you have your highlights up above. Um, so a lot of stuff in there, but you know, out of curiosity, let us see what we have to offer here as far as sci-fi and fantasy. So. Like I mentioned, you have your Battlestar Galacticas, Ghost Hunters, which is awesome, Heroes, all four seasons of Heroes. Now, I love this series when it first came out, but unfortunately, it's only season one that's worth watching. Um, unfortunately, it kind of went downhill after that. And, you know, you have the writer's strike to kind of blame for that as well. But anyways, Eureka Sequest. Yeah which is uh, a cult classic if you ask me sliders wow this was another staple of my childhood really really well done science fiction series and i highly recommend to anybody to catch this um you know basically it's a group of people who find ways to skip through dimensions and time so very very awesome stuff you have john reese davies carrie were and jerry o'connell just to name a few, so highly recommend that. Um, and then, yeah, so that is your sci-fi TV selection now. 
you know, another thing that is always, you know, very popular with um, uh, NBC are their comedies, right? So obviously it looks like you're going to have endless amounts of SNL here. So it's good that, to see that they have SNL uh, fully represented here. But, uh, you know, let's, let's take a look at the throwbacks to see what you could catch up on and relive. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff that I mentioned before. Um, Johnny Carson, look at that. You have access from what it seems from season 10 all the way to season... 30 um of the johnny carson show um it doesn't look like all the episodes are in here but if you are a fan of johnny carson this could be the thing for you so very interesting stuff there um and then you know hold on let's go into you may also like so you do have um uh, this the at home variety show with seth MacFarlane. Uh, Code Monkeys, The Commish. Uh, so yeah, so definitely a lot of good stuff here. Um, and then moving back onto the homepage here, let's see what they have for comedies. So for comedies, everybody loves Raymond. Uh, here's your SNL section. So for SNL, it looks like you have you know, your free episodes, and it looks like this is all from seasons 40 and 41. Um, but then if you're a premium subscriber, you have access to some of the older seasons here, but it looks like it's only for um, best of. So it doesn't look like you have full, full access to everything, but at least you do have some things you can kind of co go back on. Uh, so interesting stuff there. So moving on, you have uh, AP Bio, Superstore, Indebted, The Jeff Foxworthy Show. Again, these look like to be more premium. Sunnyside, uh, which is something as someone coming from Queens, is this is a show that I've always been interested to check out, but I haven't had a chance to. So maybe now is my time to do so. Um, and it's, it looks like all of these episodes are available for free. Uh, Will and Grace. Uh, you have Shelley Duvall's Bedtime Stories. Unbelievable. I haven't seen these in forever. So as a kid, Shelley Duvall had this series of, um, you know, they call it Bedtime Stories. And she would just read classic stories that are acted out um, by you know famous actors and actresses so I used to watch these on VHS tape as a kid but to have these available once again is simply amazing so I'm definitely gonna relive some of these moments and I you know for those of you with kids I highly recommend you try to check that out yourself because um, it's you don't see programming like this anymore and it's I compare it to like reading rainbow and and shows like that so very very fun stuff and it looks like they have this is interesting savage dragon so savage dragon is a cartoon series based off of an image comic book um, and this is definitely in my opinion an underrated animated show and it's I'm happy to see this here, actually. It's it's nice to see that it's living somewhere so that those of you like me can kind of relive it. Um, so it looks like you have Sitting Ducks. I know this was a popular kids show back in the day. Five Wolves American Tales. Twisted Tales of Felix the Cat. You have The New Adventures of He-Man. Uh, very interesting. Wing Commander Academy and Exo Squad. So you do have a good amount of kids programming here. Uh, back in the day, for those of you who grew up like in the 80s and early 90s, um, NBC was uh, a staple for Saturday morning cartoons. So I'm hoping that a lot of their Saturday morning programming will be available on this app. So moving on, you even have Saved by the Bell, the college years. Very interesting. 
Betty in Nanook. So that is a fun program there. Sweet Home Home, Oklahoma. Punky Brewster. Wow, another 80s classic here. Um, very, very. And they're all for free too. Wow. Um, again, a staple of my childhood right here. Really, really loved wa watching Punky Brewster. And a very, very popular show back in the day. Nice to see it find a home here. Um, you have Psych, Late Night with Seth Meyers, and The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. So, it looks like they do offer some free episodes here. And then you have access only for now to Season 7, which I'm assuming is the current season that they're in. Or at least they were in prior to the pandemic. So, so yeah, so... Anything that you are, you know, familiar with on NBC, it looks like they have your programming here. Now, moving on to movies. Here you have, now they, it looks like they did team up with Rotten Tomatoes to kind of highlight some top rated movies or at least provide you with ratings to movies. Uh, you have Deer Hunter, Monsters Ball, um, Gosford Park. Charlie Wilson's War, but that looks like it's for premium subscribers. You have your comedy movies. You know, Evan Almighty, Kicking and Screaming, You, Me, and Dupree, Bruno, Ali G, Dave Chappelle's Block Party, which is a lot of fun, Parenthood, which is a fantastic movie. And it looks like you have more to choose from the further you dive into this section. You have the classics like Fletch. And uh, Sergeant Bilko, Waiting, Brewster's Millions, <laughs> Dr. Detroit. Um, you even have a black and white classic here with the Marx Brothers, Animal Crackers. So very, very interesting stuff here. Um, and like I said, for a free subscription, you have a lot to access from the get-go. So very interesting stuff. And... You know, in this day and age where, you know, we've been stuck at home for the past three months or so, I'm pretty sure we're looking for new things to watch. And it looks like, at least for now, this is another alternative as to things that, you know, you can kind of catch up on and watch, um, you know, when you, you know, need something new, so to speak. But then you have your serious movies, like... You know, Billy Elliot, The Good Shepherd, In the Name of the Father, um, Last Temptation of Christ, Girl with a Pearl Earring. You have your action and adventure movies. Um, interesting to see that they have Jonah Hex here. Um, you know, for those of you who have been following the HBO Max drama with DC, uh, this was one of the titles that um, left the platform. Uh, at the beginning of July. So I wonder if it's because they had a, a prior contract with Peacock. So that could explain a lot of things there. Um, so yeah, so you have a lot of action adventure movies here for you to choose from. Um, Bulletproof, The Sting, Bird on a Wire, uh, the original Highlander, um, you know, San Andreas Quake, which is not to be mistaken with the San Andreas movie with The Rock. Um, Jurassic City. Um, I have a feeling you're also going to find a lot of those B or C rated movies in here. So um, if you're looking to uh, start up a new tradition of watching a bad movie, like dedicating a bad movie night, this could be your go-to for a lot of that stuff. You have Fast and the Furious. Uh, that looks like a premium subscription um, title there. Uh, but yeah, you have a lot of you know content here to choose from. Feel good movies, sci-fi fantasy, since I am a sci-fi fan. Let's check it out. So like I said, you have all the Matrix movies. Spawn. Uh, you have Howard the Duck. I'm surprised this found itself on a platform. George Lucas swears that he never wants to hear about this movie ever again. So uh, if you want to know why, you should watch it if you haven't done so already. Um, you have Grimm's Snow White. 
a lot of classic movies here. You have The Invisible Woman, Invisible Man, uh, Dr. Cyclops. So a lot of your really old school 1950s classics here, um, which kind of leads into the next section, the Hitchcock section. So let's just view all here. You have a good amount of Hitchcock classics to choose from. Rear Window, Vertigo, Psycho, The Birds. Um, you have some other ones that you can access if you're a premium subscriber. Um, but just those selections alone are awesome to kind of catch up on if you haven't done so um, in the past. So really good stuff. You have cult movies. So these are your cult classics. Um, you know, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, American Psycho, The Crush, Serial Mom, um, which I have to say is, is truly underrated as a comedy. This is another one of those that I watched uh, when I was younger and I really loved it. You have documentaries. So you have uh, Pope Francis, A Man Around the World, Spellbound, I Am Ali, I Am Big Bird, really great documentary about um, Carol Spinney, the original portrayer of uh, Big Bird there for Jim Henson. Really, really great stuff there. Um, Perfect Bid. Uh, this is about the, the infamous, I, I forget who his name was, uh, Theodore Slauson, who kind of uh, broke the code for, uh, for uh, The Price is Right. Yeah, which is really, really interesting stuff. Back in Time, documentary about Back to the Future. Um, you know, a lot of good amount of documentaries to choose from here, um, especially as a free subscriber. So really, really good stuff there. Uh, you have your class, like, like I said before, classic Universal Monster movies. And these are all timeless classics. Um, I know for a lot of people these days, it's harder to go backwards and watch a lot of these classic movies. But if that doesn't bother you, these are must watch movies, um, especially as a fan of cinema. Um, you'll never go wrong with watching any of these. Uh, something they call dynamic duos. So I guess uh, these uh, movies that featured, um, you know, two people together, uh, partnerships or what have you. You have indies, so you have like Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, Secretary, uh, Broken Flowers, which is a great uh, Bill Murray uh, drama there. Um, so a good amount of stuff there. Family movies for you uh, people with families and kids. These are your go-to movies there. I don't know if I would consider Jurassic Park family movies, but it's interesting that that's in there. Um, so yeah, so you have your programming there. Golden Age of Hollywood section. So these cover a lot of the old classics, which I'm sure are owned by Universal. Um, your Hidden Gems, your Thriller and Suspense, Sea of Love, a lot of like old classics here as well. Um, movies with SNL alums. So, you know, all the movies from all your favorite SNL uh, cast, past and present. You have a Western section. For those of you who love Westerns, you have a good amount of selections here. Movies from the 90s, you have your horrors movie, horror movies here. Um, so a good amount of selections there. You have, again, another classic section and then your A to Z. So, you know, if you had the time to go through all of or you want to go through all of the movies that they have available, you can do so directly from here. So moving on, you have your kids section. So again, your highlights over here. Uh, so you have movie night, TV time, tiny tots, programming for, I guess, uh, the more younger uh, members of your family, animated comedy, cute and cuddly, uh, they have one-off um, episodes for you to check out here. Animated shorts, uh, projects and crafts, monsters and ghouls, and then you have your A to Z section. So let's just go through there real quick. So you have Felix, uh, Baby Felix in France. So I guess it's a Baby Felix show. Again, Care Bears. It's unfortunate that this is all um, premium stuff, but 
very classic animated programming there um you have your dragon series uh <laughs> dreamworks nursery rhymes so this is very interesting um i guess these are nursery rhymes told by shrek and other dreamworks animated characters here it looks kind of cute um going down the list here um you have a lot of things to choose from a lot of good selections for a wide variety of age groups within your family like i said shelly duvall's bedtime stories that's a must sitting ducks was a classic for a younger generation back in the day the mummy animated series uh, new adventures of he-man there uh so yeah a lot of good stuff for kids to check out so you know decent programming if you've run out of things to show your kids or watch with the family you definitely have a good amount of stuff here so you have also a news section so if you're familiar with their nightly news uh, meet the press dateline you have everything covered here um i believe they have the today show here as well um and from what i've read there will be um uh, peacock platform specific today programming available only here so if that's something that is um you know up your alley and you're very into then you could definitely catch all that stuff here you have the rachel maddow show mad bunny with jim craner's kramer so you have everything here news related that you can access uh for sports you have a lot of different sports programming, most of which I covered in the previous section. Um, but yeah, you could you know catch up on all various types of sports programming here. Um, also news as well. Looks like they have highlights. I don't know if you'll ever be able to watch full on sports programs like games once those things resume from here. But maybe if uh, you're a premium subscriber, you might be able to do so. And then you have a Latino section. So all the um, Spanish programming that you are looking for, uh, you can access them directly from here. And it covers not only TV shows, but also Telemundo newscasts, uh, Spanish movies, or at least movies that are provided with, in, with Spanish language, uh, Spanish dubbing. So you could find that here. All of that located here. So. Again, a lot of amazing things, a lot of amazing content right off the bat. Now, whether it's something that will drive you to sign up for, um, that's to be based on you, really. It's um, on what you're, you're really looking for. But one cool thing that they have here is a trending section. So this is the way this is laid out is very much like a... Uh, a newspaper app or um, kind of like a headline app where it goes through what's trending on the platform and kind of breaks it out in this kind of um, timeline for you so um, you don't have access to the show directly from here because um, when I press the button it doesn't bring me directly to it but it just gives you quick highlights of what is currently um, you know popular on the platform and what people are watching so these are more like highlights and spotlights for you to kind of like peruse through um they could be anything from headlines to maybe the latest episode of a famous show um you know an outtake from a news program or from a daytime um you know talk show so very very interesting um way to kind of quickly catch up on what is hot and trending in the platform itself um, i do wish that there was a way to access the episode directly from here um, because all you can really do is go up and down the list here now like i mentioned before there is a section called channels and they've designated specific channels based off of certain categories so you have and I'll see if I could do my best to start from the top here. So you have your NBC News channel where they have specific programming um, featured within this channel, specifically news related. And it looks like right now, unfortunately, I'm having <laughs> some load problem. Um, 
I'm sure it's uh oh there we go there you go so yeah so you have your your news channel you have your today channel um, if you're interested in today programming so they have uh, on a lot of channel just for that you have your road to Tokyo channel you have your SNL vault um, so you know kind of um, highlights um, certain scenes from you know SNL programming you have office shorts you have uh, Kutik I believe it's pronounced uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it looks more like a reality channel there. You have the Fallon Tonight channel, Seth Meyers channel, Kaching, Make It, Sky News. Um, for you who are looking to catch up on European news and news from the UK. <clears throat> and, you know, for the rest of the world, you have another reality channel here. Uh, True Crime, Unsolved Mysteries hell's kitchen channel so if you want to just all day watch um you know scenes and, and programming from hell's kitchen you could do so you have the bob ross channel which is fantastic so you can kind of watch bob ross all day or anytime during your day uh, out of this world which i guess is uh unexplained phenomenon channel 80s mixtape, all the classic 80s programming there. Um, and there does seem to be kind of a slow load for some of these. Or maybe I'm just going through them very quickly and too fast. Uh, in it to win it. So uh, it looks like this is more of like a gaming type of channel. Uh, poker after dark. So you have a poker channel. I love Jenny. Uh, this looks more of like a... Spanish channel there, another Spanish channel, Casa Sarado. So real. Um, I'm not quite sure what channel that is. Comedy Dynamics. So you get the point. Basically, what they try to do here is they try to emulate uh, a cable uh, setup so that you can. It makes you feel like you have different channels to access different types of content based off the category you're interested in and watch programming basically um so you know it's it's kind of an interesting way to to approach things i think since nbc is a network um they wanted to kind of bring the network feel uh or cable feel to you um, at home through this app so very very interesting and unique um uh, way to approach things here so but keep in mind all of the programming that you see here is not different from any of the other programming that you have access to from the rest of the categories featured here so so yeah so that's pretty much the gist of it guys um you know again whether or not this is going to be a, a platform for you it really depends on your taste and it really depends on if you are truly interested in this type of programming. For me, um, honestly, the things that really stand out are some of the classics that I may want to catch up on and watch because I don't really watch a lot of the current programming right now. Um, but for those of you who may, this could be something that is uh, worthwhile for you. I do like that they do offer a lot of... Um, movie options that i cannot find in other platforms at least not for free for now so i may utilize some of my time um, with this platform to catch up on a lot of that programming um, and who knows maybe i might be able to check out some of the newer shows like this is us or um, something that i may have missed like suits and then maybe i can get into it and then you know that could be the new series that i will start binging myself but like I mentioned, for now, I think I'm really going to be more into, you know, catching back up on the older programming that I used to love watching or that I haven't had a chance to watch or finish back in the day. So so that's it, folks. That is the Peacock um, streaming platform for you. So if you have any questions or comments or feedback for me, 
please do do leave them in the comment section or you could find me on twitch uh or any other social media at uh the low-key geek you could find the links to my social in the description of this video and like i said at the top of the uh, episode do uh hit that like button and subscribe to the channel um if you like this type of content and you uh would like to see more um it any little bit of that helps uh with the algorithm and helps me continue to provide this great content for a community that i'm trying to build here uh and the community is a bunch of you like me who are into pop culture movies and the like so Thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time. Oh, hey, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you want to check out my other videos, make sure to access them through this menu that you see on this side of the screen. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button or hit that logo you see right here on this side of the screen. I've always wanted to do that. Catch you next time.